Well, I must say, these are really wonderful sculptural objects. There's very little else you can say, except they are marvellous pieces of sculpture. They are, of course, salt cellars, in fact. That's what oh. they were designed to do. Now, these were made by this very famous goldsmith called Paul Storm. Three of them were made in 1813, and this one um, was made actually in 1811. And you can see a date letter Q there, as opposed to all the rest which have a date letter S for 1813. Um, Paul Storr was a remarkable goldsmith, probably the best native goldsmith this country ever produced. Made absolutely breathtaking things. He started um, his working life in about 1792, and retired, I think, in about 1835, 36, something like that. The, the design for these probably originates uh, in the 16th century. Uh, there's a very famous salt cellar made for Francis I by Bienvenuto Cellini. But I think the design that Paul Storr, who made these, will have seen and slightly got a feeling for was actually at Windsor Castle. At Windsor Castle, there are some uh, source boats and salt cellars made by a man called um, Nicholas Spremont in the 1740s that have very much this idea of shells being held by sculptural uh, mermaids, mermen, tritons and so on. And I think that he will have seen those because he worked for a firm or worked with a firm that worked very largely for um, George III. And he will have seen those at, at Windsor Castle, probably even repaired them from time to time. And I think this is where he will have got the general idea. Where did you get them? Well, my father gave them to me about a year, 18 months before he died. The, the, the gilding on them is so wonderful. It's so thick and heavy. Um, and the, and the, 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 just the quality of the work. Everything is absolutely brilliant. They're not worn. All the chiseling on, on the little mermen here is absolutely brilliant. They are really tremendous, tremendous salt sellers. Um, have you, have you any idea of, you know, what do you think they're worth? I haven't any idea whatsoever, no. <laughs> well, yes. Um, <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's difficult. I see. It's difficult, but I, I've been looking at these and um, telling you bits about them and uh, trying to think myself. But I think on balance, if, if I had to buy these, um, either from a private house or at an auction or whatever, if I had to buy them, I think I'd have to be looking at 40,000 pounds. Good Lord. <laughs> you do surprise me. <laughs>